Wait, 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 wait. Before you come for me and start spamming me in the comments section with things like, oh my gosh, but dogs are like the cutest thing ever. I hope you step on a Lego, you monster. Please at least watch the video first. That way you can at least understand where I'm coming from. And I'm only saying this because every single time I do tell someone, they act as though I just said the worst thing they've ever heard. So, with that said, howdy dowdy, I'm Lampy and I'm a scaredy bug. And if I had to say my number one fear, it would easily, without a shadow of a doubt, be dogs. Now, I do want to clarify that I do not hate dogs, I'm just terrified of them. There is a difference. So, this fear is kind of strange, because although it's one I had as a kid, it didn't fully bloom until much later in my life. And if I had to say when, it would have been during, you guessed it, university. Yeah, you thought you were safe and I would actually talk about something different for a change? Well, joke's on you, this is another entry in my Transportation Tales mini-series. Now, I've previously mentioned that I used to live in a relatively bad neighbourhood, and one noticeable aspect of this place was the fact that the dogs there were far more aggressive. Guard dogs, poorly trained dogs, and strays were all super common, so unlike other areas, dogs weren't the friendly icon you typically expect them to be. And I learned this the hard way. Rightio, so this part isn't really a story per se, because it was something that occurred every single time I went out. Whenever I needed to take the bus, I had to walk through this one path. And on this path, there were three backyards in a row. Now, the reason I bring this up is because each of these backyards had two big dogs. And let me tell you, they were not friendly. Every day, it was like walking on eggshells. If one of the dogs so much as saw my shadow, said dog would immediately start charging at the fence. And once one did it, the others would join in too. Meaning I would have six massive dogs all lunging at a fence that was high as my waist which was honestly the most infuriating part about it. Why were the fences so gosh darn short? These dogs were huge, they could easily jump over them if they wanted to, and if they did, it would be game over for me. This is also the reason I developed the habit of only wearing one bag strap. You know how some people do it to seem cool and trendy? Well, I did it so I had a shield. And by the way, this wasn't a one-time thing, it wasn't something that stopped after a couple of weeks or months, it was something that lasted for nearly an entire year. You'd think by a year's time, the dogs would have gotten used to seeing me at the same time every single day, but apparently not. Although I will give credit where credit is due, one of them did stop after a couple of months, but even so, five dogs attacking a fence isn't really much better than six. The only reason this all stopped was because I found out there was actually another bus stop I could take. I needed to walk a fair amount more and it did increase my overall travel time by quite a bit, but it was worth it because I never had to deal with those dogs again. In hindsight, I probably should have just changed paths sooner, but logical decision making isn't really my forte. Plus, I didn't even know this other stop existed. When I looked for other stops earlier that year, I couldn't even find anything else. So maybe they added a new one? Or the more likely scenario, I missed it, who knows. The important thing is that I only had to deal with them for like a year tops, and as sad as it sounds, that's a win in my books. Okie dokie, to be fair, that's not my only reason. So, one time when I was coming home, I saw a lady and her two dogs walking my direction. And as soon as I saw them, I was kind of worried. They were quite big and intimidating, i.e. the exact type I tried to actively avoid. Initially, I was going to try crossing the street, that way I would have some distance between us. But before I could, she immediately told me not to worry because, and I quote, Oh, don't worry, they don't bite. And because I thought it'd be rude to cross the street after her telling me it was fine, I naively decided to continue the path. Now, can you guess what happened next? Well, if you guess one of them tried to bite me, bingo dingo, you'd be right. Luckily, she only managed to bite my bag, and the owner was able to pull it back long enough for me to cross the street. Funnily enough, I actually ended up having to wait a solid minute for her to retrieve my bag. And once she did, she quickly apologised and left, giving me a chance to collect my stuff and go home. Now, this isn't the only time something like this has happened. 
Not even two weeks later, I was crossing paths with a bulky dude and his dog. Now, this dog was big and had a muzzle on it, so I immediately wanted to nope out of that situation. But when I tried crossing the street, he loudly shouted, don't worry, he's friendly, and I just had a gut feeling that it was going to be another one of these situations. Now, I really didn't want to cross paths, so for once, I actually spoke up for myself. I told him that I wasn't good around dogs and that it would just be easier for me to cross the street and back. Now, how do you think he responded? By being compassionate and understanding? Wrong! He took it as an attack, claiming I was somehow insinuating he was a bad dog owner. So now I had two options. One, I crossed the street, but in doing so, risk getting beaten up by an agitated guy twice my size. Or two, I continue the path and potentially get attacked by a dog. In the end, I chose option number two. As for why, well, the dog had a muzzle, the guy did not. Simple as that. So I continue walking this path, and can you guess what happened? To absolutely no one's surprise, well, except for the guy of course, the dog started lunging at me. And no, the muzzle didn't make it any less scary. Luckily, the dude was pretty quick at pulling him away, and because of that, I had the chance to swiftly cross the street. Surprisingly, he ended up giving a pretty genuine apology, not just for the dog attacking, but for being rude earlier, so I actually respect him for that. That said, even though he did apologise, the damage was done. To this day, I refuse to 100% believe in someone when they say things like, don't worry, they don't bite. But wait, there's more. So one time when I was going home, my bus driver accidentally took a wrong turn. And because it wasn't super far away from where I lived, I decided to just get off and walk the remaining distance. Now, to get home, I had to take this one path that was stacked with bushes and trees. And this was to the point you couldn't even see the houses behind them. So I was just casually walking along this path, when suddenly I heard the sound of faint barking. But this barking kept getting closer and closer, and I could just tell a dog was out to get me. So instinctively, I started sprinting while screaming for help but the sound was still following me, and because it kept moving from left to right, I couldn't tell where the dog was coming from, nor what it looked like. As I kept running, I heard the faint sound of laughing, and when I made it to the end of the corner, I managed to see the dog, and it was an itsy bitsy Jack Russell Terrier. Yeah, embarrassing, I know. But in my defense, for his size, that dog sure could bark. Eventually his owner caught up, who was still laughing at me mind you. He made some comment along the lines of, you should have seen the look on your face, before leaving with his dog. Dude didn't even apologize. Like, I get to him it may have been funny seeing me get scared by a tiny dog, but I wanted to cry the whole time. Anyway, needless to say, that experience was both horrifying and embarrassing, so would not recommend at all. I think my worst experience with dogs actually happened while I was playing Pokemon Go. So there used to be this park I went to, and I really liked the spot because no one really went there. I could get my Pokeballs without judgement, and I didn't have to worry about people constantly asking me things like, oh, you still play Pokemon Go for the gazillionth time. And at the time, Burmy was recently released, so as a massive Motham fan, I went out to go catch some. But whilst catching one, I heard the faint sound of running, so I turned around to check it out, and it turned out that the noise was coming from an elderly man and his pet dog. Now I was pretty far away from them, so I hid behind a tree in the hopes that the dog didn't see me. And the reason I did this was because the dog wasn't wearing a leash, so there was absolutely no way I wanted to risk it. But of course, like good old fashioned, my plan failed, because the dog ended up spotting me. The dog quickly bolted towards me and then promptly began circling around me. Now admittedly, even though I'm generally hesitant about being near big dogs, this one actually seemed kind of friendly, but then BAM immediately started snarling and barking at me. And let me tell you, I was petrified, because this time there was nowhere to run to, all I could do was stand there and wait for this dog to inevitably bite me. Eventually his owner caught up. But despite his best efforts to calm him down, the dog kept barking at me. So how exactly did I get out? 
Well, I ended up hysterically bawling my eyes out, and the dog just kinda picked up on it because he quietly left with his owner. Yeah, I know, pretty anticlimactic, but I prefer this version to one where I get mauled, so what can you do? Against my better judgement, I actually ended up staying, partly because I didn't want to go home after a heavy crying session, but mainly because the berming I caught earlier was female. But even after a solid hour of catching Burmy, not one of them was male. Meaning, I endured all that stress for nothing. So yeah, those are some of the reasons I'm scared of dogs. See, I didn't just wake up one day and say, Hey, you know what would make me really quirky? If I was terrified of dogs. Surely that's a likeable trait that doesn't go against societal norms. Also, the reason I keep saying fear of dogs rather than cynophobia is simply because I'd kind of feel guilty if I did. Like, I've never actually been bitten by a dog, so I feel like others have had it worse. Plus, I can happily watch dogs in movies and TV shows and stuff like that. It's only really a problem in real life where I struggle to be in the same room as them. Although, funnily enough, there is one exception. Golden Retrievers. I'm not scared of them. At all. Like, not even an ounce of fear when they're nearby. And no, there's absolutely no reason as to why they're an outlier. So yeah, if you've somehow made it this far, feel free to let me know your fears down below. Or if you're also scared of dogs, let me know if there's some sort of story behind it. Maybe we can bond over it, who knows. With that said, like, subscribe, and don't let the bed bugs bite. Love you all, bye bye!